Hey guys, in this video, I'll be using uh, two basic laws of indices to evaluate a question. So stay tuned. Let's jump right into the question. So this question says to evaluate this expression here. So this expression has indices. Let's look at it. So the first law that we apply is So when we have index where there's an addition of index So we have base 3 and then we have to the power of x plus 3 when there's a plus in the middle Then what we can do is we can separate into two different uh, two different terms so it becomes 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 3 so when there is an addition of the index here, 3x plus 3, then we can separate into 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 3. Notice that the base is the same. So this is the first rule. And then here is minus. We have another minus at the bottom as well. So for minus, we use the second rule. When we have minus, when the index has something minus another thing, then we use divide instead of multiply. So when it's plus, we use multiply. When it's minus, we use divide. So this is 3x minus 1. So it will become 3x divided by 3 to the power of 1. And this is 3x minus 2. So it will become 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of 2. So now all we have to do is simplify this. So we just, uh, 3 to the power of 2 becomes 9, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So this is what we get, times 27, times 9. And in order to simplify this further, uh, the easiest way to do it is, of course, to remove the fraction on the numerator and the denominator. In order to remove the fraction, both numerator and denominator can be multiplied by 9. Whatever you do, whatever you do, uh, any multiplication or division you do to the numerator, as long as you do to the denominator, you don't change the value of the fraction. So you multiply, whatever you multiply on the denominator, you multiply on the numerator as well. So here, multiplied by 9, the whole thing of course, and then the whole numerator multiplied by 9. So for the uh, numerator, we expand first. So this value here, multiplied by 9, 3x times 27 multiplied by 9, also negative 3x over 3 multiplied by 9. And this is what we will get. 27 times 9 will give us 243 times 3x. And then here, 3x over 3 multiplied by 9. So 3, you can simplify. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we get 3, 3x. And then for the denominator, we have 9 and 9. We can simplify. We can eliminate the 9. So we get 8, 3x here. Now once we reach this, you can look at 3x as uh, any other uh, variable. So let's make it x. So let's say 3x is x. And then this is 243x's minus 3x's. Okay, if you don't understand that, then 243 apples. Look at it as an apple because all of this is the same. This is 3 to the power of x, 3 to the power of x, and 3 to the power of x. They are the same thing. So you can, you can substitute them with anything that helps you understand. 243 apples minus 3 apples, we get 240 apples. And this is 8 apples. So here, 240 apples over 8 apples. Then, what to do? Both num numerator and denominator, we can divide by 3 to the power of x. So we can eliminate 3 to the power of x. We get 240 divided by 8. And then, 240 divided by 8 is, of course, 30. So the answer here is 30. That's it for this video, guys. If you've learned something, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll see you in the next video.